welcome this is the <laughs> full moon readings for the heart signs I want to say thank you for being here it is a full moon reading from the 15th of September until the 15th of October 2019 thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration I want to say to each and every person this is an healing month so remember that and please remember as of uh, October we are going to be doing an extra deal for individual signs okay because you guys are so individual but the collective reading is has to be done if you want to see what is the full moon energies for the individual signs um, the first month is going to be free but because these are ex long readings they are going to be in the extended deal now um for people who wants to have the full moon reading the monthly readings and the love readings are free but anyway I'll send out a mail but I'm going to do individual readings so if you are interested in having individual um, readings because we are doing a collective for the elements the earth elements so if you want a Taurus reading or a Virgo reading alone or a Capricorn reading for the full moon, you can always ask. I'm going to be doing them and they're going to be on the mount. And um, you're going to be receiving um, news brief over this, okay? But as from next October, I'm going to be doing that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out what is coming up for you, Earth Sign people. Remember that the Sun people are the people who were born between the hours of 6 um, 6 uh, a.m. okay so 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. so if you were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. you're a Sun person 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. you are a moon person whenever the moon goes up and whenever the Sun is up okay so for the Sun or people for the month of September September full moon September October full moon we have opposition uh, this is going to be good and it's going to affect you guys in the 12 house and the 8 house of intimacy for you Sun people there is a message okay heart sign heart sign moon people we have balance coming in Sun people we have challenges and we have the the um, I don't know but you moon earth people have been having the queen ox but it's going to be okay empowerment the Sun people are going to be empowered okay so the overall energies for you guys is uh, um, the semi sex style is allow allow things to flow don't fight against the flow just allow things to flow whatever is happening do not fight to fight against the flow just allow things to flow that is the message for you guys let's look at the Sun people the Sun people now you Sun people as the energy of collaboration there's a lot of collaboration that is going to be coming up that means opportunity a lot of doors are going to be opening for you guys a lot of promises a lot of communication a lot of welcoming is going to be coming in for the Sun people okay so if you were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. this is going to be happening some of you are going to be having some challenges but these challenges are going to be um, teaching you to empower yourself so the channels is that you Sun people are going to be going through is going to basically help you people to empower yourself and in a very very powerful way because through challenges we grow to be stronger and through that we can empower ourselves okay and this is what is going to be transpiring so this is really positive and really good for you hurt sign people it's good for the moon sign people what is happening here is that we're going to be balancing out some karmatic situation okay so if you were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. for you moon sign people we're definitely going to be balancing out some situation whatever that has been transpiring in your life we are going to be bringing some balance so 
we are going to be definitely opening up to conflicts and testing um, of times and we're going to be balancing we you know you know you guys have the quinox and trying to put a puzzle to something okay so you are definitely going to be balancing it out because first you have the energy of balance so whatever is coming up whatever that but you could not fit the puzzle together all of a sudden it's all going to be falling into place all of a sudden unexpectedly it's all going to be falling into place and you'll be able to place the pieces of puzzle together and then it is going to bring in you and tune in you in a flow of nothing but happiness ability um, of positive energy things and situation are going to be falling into places now and everything is going to be starting to flow and the flow that is going to be coming up is going to be flowing in a positive positive light okay so positive new alignments and energy and there is going to be a positive flow of energy that is coming in that is going to be bringing you in positive light and this is going to be good so very very wonderful um for you earth signs um, you know it's a month of healing don't forget it's a month of healing and um, this is what is going to be transpiring okay so we're asking the planetary aspect planetary systems um, for the heart signs people to show us what planetary effect what is going to be affecting the lives and in which houses for the heart heart sign in this uh, full moon period what is happening for the heart sign people please show us what energy is coming up so the first energy for the first out is Pluto in the self so whatever is happening some of you are going to be letting go something um, some characteristics some personalities you're going to be letting that go and that is actually good because you're healing something luck <laughs> luck and this is coming up in the second house the second house is um, the house of money your materialistic your aspect financial situation luxury unexpected luck hurt signs I'm sorry it's it is the lucky card um in the house the third house of uh, um perception you are dealing with uh, um the outlook so is the perception the outlook of how you see things around you what is happening and this is good because it's your perception of the world and people and situation around you so this is really good the first house has to do with family so there is going to be a situation for you earth sign people that is coming up for families and you're going to be very communicating very well and you're going to be cutting to the bull BS okay communication with family is going to be very good you're going to be cutting through the BS you're going to be saying hey this is how it is this is how it's going to be the five hours of passion there's unexpected breakthrough so we are going to be seeing who is in the five house who is coming up in the five house and how is that going to affect you the north node is here in the sixth house so what this is saying is that earth sign people are going to be finding their true nor no they're destined and it is in the sixth house and it's in the house of the Virgos so you Virgos are going to be finding your destiny okay what you came to this planet to do and this is the good <sighs> for the Tauruses you have luck in your business in your materialistic world whatever some of you could be buying new house buying new cars unexpected money coming in you Tauruses have luck but the rest of uh, the Capricorn and the Virgos are also going to be having that because the Virgos are going to find their true um, north and this is going to be good then we have Kryon coming in the house of relaxation so some of you maybe you're in between works or some of you are trying to find your way out and cryon is going to be coming because through the time of relaxation you're going to be healing yourself healing situations that you have gone through healing yourself and bringing back neptune is in the house of intimacy so i'm seeing stillness i am seeing stillness so 
Neptune. Some of you could be daydreaming about other people, fantasizing. I'm seeing a lot of daydreaming and fantasizing. Nothing is going to happen. <laughs> okay. Ninth house. Ninth house of Mars action. Um, okay. So some of you need to take action. Um, ninth house is about seeking. Seeking. Um, higher education seeking it's all about it can have to do with travel on a quest seeking knowledge uh, issues with um, people in power and that sort of a thing but it's as if you're taking action you're it's as if whatever you're dealing with people and this is what I said to people you need to um, download the extended freedom and as of next month each individual sign is going to get their um, full moon reading because what is happening is that this is a collective energy of the heart sign now to know what exactly is going to affect you even with the extended readings you guys have to be connecting to your own collective energy vibration okay so I'm gonna be doing the full moon reading for each and every one differently Venus okay I will let it go <laughs> okay um Capricorns go back and look at your love reading because I did say that someone new is coming in so for you Capricorns a new love is coming in um, and that's why I said work on your relationship some of you need to work on your relationship whatever is going on in the lives of the Capricorns you need to work on your relationships okay and that is what your readings about but I did say also in the reading new love is coming in whoever this person is that you're meeting or is coming in this person was meant to be this person can be a Taurus or a Libran because they're ruled by Venus it can also be a Pisces because um, the Pisces are in love with love itself not in with the person but they're just in love with they just always want to be in love Ooh. I love the Pisces I, don't get me wrong but you can't be in love just for being love not every time okay Saturn is in the house of the Aquarians so Saturn is in the house of the Aquarians so what this is saying is that um, some of you could be removing um, an Aquarius out of your life the energy of Saturn is going to be moving an Aquarius out of your life so be aware of this this is um, so and in the bow Jupiter okay ladies and gentlemen <laughs> ladies and gentlemen there is luck after you surrender a situation it's as if the universe is gonna say okay so you get it so here you go but some of you are holding on something okay it could be a relationship sometimes we hold on on people that is very bad for us and block our financial abundance and once you and I'm not saying that it's someone it can be someone because remember this is a general reading and I'm I'm watching YouTube and I'm seeing people say remember this is a general reading and take what reside reside with you and what don't reside with you but I think that that is only normal I, I don't think that I should spend five minutes saying that when you know I mean not all reading is going to be um, connecting with you it depends on your energy vibration what is going on in your life at this moment so sorry guys I don't say that because I just think that people are aware that you know not every reading for the sign that is affecting me because maybe you're having a good positive relationship maybe everything is just good in your life you never know but anyway Jupiter is in the house of surrender so it's as if you need to surrender something whatever is it you need to surrender if you feel as if you have been carrying some guilt some baggages um, surrender it and how do you do this is um, true you know going through um, sleep time because as you surrender there is some hurt some pain something that you hurt signs needs to surrender 
surrender it because then and only then Jupiter is going to bring you what you really really want or what is uh, you were um, destined to have okay and Jupiter is about expansion it's about optimism it's about generosity is it's about the benevolent it's about luck it's about seeking it's about positive it's about looks and abundance the unexpected luck just coming in so something is it something is there that you guys need to surrender find out what it is okay all right let's see who you're going to be working with in these houses who are you going to be working in in these houses this is uh, the energy for the heart sign period 15 of September 15 October first house you're going to be working with a Libra so I'm seeing um, for some of you I'm gonna explain that okay cancer in the second house of your financial stability whoever these cancers are you could be I, I can't I might need to be paying you third house um, that is the house of the Gemini's perception um, you're seeing the, the um, perception of the world Capricorn or in the house of the root so a Capricorn or you Capricorns are going to be feeling issues with family you need to communicate that's where the communicates come in so a lot of you Capricorns are having issues with family where you're going to be com communicating Virgos you are um, traveling in the house of uh, um, the passion Aquarians your um, north node some of you could be finding out that Aquarian is the person for you Aries is the house of um, forgiving and, and Aries for what they've done to you Gemini is in the house of intimacy so some of you could be especially you Tauruses and Capricorns could be or Virgos could be connecting with the Gemini's okay in love in relationship Pisces the mystic house definitely um, some of you are going to be collaborating with Pisces in business you're going to be collaborating in Pisces with business okay Ten house the house of the Capricorns some of you Capricorns are going to be dealing with um, a cancer um, and it's like this cancer I don't wanted to um, you know miss mess up your repetition but there this cancer is coming back with love okay so this cancer could have tried to or it could be another cancer but whatever is happening especially for you Capricorns in your house of repetition is going to be affected by a cancer but I'm seeing this cancer bringing love or people bringing love okay so that's something Leo's the lovers um in the 11th house some of you are having issues in relationship and you're at the edge huh damn and then we have the Taurus coming but I knew it I I knew it I knew it Tauruses oh my god I love you guys all right I'm getting a message for some of you out there some of you Capricorns are going to be connecting via business with the Tauruses. Tauruses are going to be meeting the Capricorns and it's love at first sight. But these Tauruses are in relationship um, with a Pisces, but they're going to leave the Pisces for the Capricorn. Anyway, let's 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 get in it. Check out the extended readings, okay? And this is what I'm doing the next thing. Okay, luck for the house. Um, the, 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 the second house is the house of the Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, remember, you are the businessman. You rock the business world. It's, a, it's all about you making money. Tauruses, you, all you think about is to make money. I mean, relationship come afterwards, but it's all about how can I make money, okay? Um, the house of the six houses, the house of the Virgos, you're dealing with some Aquarian. 
and uh, you could be realizing that maybe um, this Aquarian teaches you something you could be in a relationship with an Aquarian they're going to be teaching you something it could be an in you're going to be working on a project with an Aquarian so that's what's coming up for you Virgos and for you Capricorns that is Venus Venus is in your house of repetition a lot of love is coming to you Capricorns whatever is happening a lot of love is coming to you Capricorn so I'm gonna go through all the houses now remember Taurus you're the second house um, Virgo you're the sixth house and Capricorns you're the tenth house so let's check this out ladies and gentlemen the first house is the self so I basically love when Pluto if you're not getting mad when Pluto come up in the self do you know why because when Pluto comes up in the first house, Pluto is about releasing something that no longer. So it could be a pattern, it could be some bullshit, it could be some things that you're holding on to. But whatever it is, it's in the self. And it has to do with either a legal case or something that was unjust that has transpired with you. You're going to be releasing it. You're going to be thinking, you know, something. I've been holding on to this emotional situation for so long I am letting this go because the more I hold on is the more it hurts and it is painful and I'm taking it through and it is killing my energy I don't need to hold on on this you know something whoever these people are who tries to make me look bad or whatever the situation is the lies and the deception it's all out now and people looks bloody like fool and this is how you need to um eel on healthy patterns of being just so pissed off at the world being so upset because people have treated you injustice and you're gonna let this go because the liberal energy is the energy of bringing balance you're just gonna think hey you know something i'm better than you people you know whatever you might think my heart chakra is balance and i can learn to love you even though you treat me so badly I can learn to love because I love myself and that's why I can love you and maybe if you learn to learn to love yourself heal whatever you're going through because people who badmouth other people is because they are not happy with themselves and this is the reason why they do it okay Second house, house of the Tauruses. House of the Tauruses, uh, you Tauruses are going to be having luck. And the luck is coming up, um, luck with a cancer for some of you, but the luck is coming up where it's either you're going to be taking on the energy of the cancer, but whatever is transpiring, this is where the luck is coming up for you, okay? It has to do something with the unseen, the unexpected, okay? Um, unexpected luck is going to be coming in for you um, guys. Whether you're a Taurus or not a Taurus, it is coming in because um, it could be that a cancer has done something in the past that is going to be bringing back luck to you. So, you know, someone could cheat you steal from you and they have to pay that sort of a thing unexpectedly and you thought and you gave up on it the house of perception you are having a really really um good time with the house of perception because what is happening and what is transpiring is that the sagittarius are here sagittarius always give earth sign people luck and they always show you the direction that you should go in there could be a situation where a Sagittarius is going to be helping you earth sign people out. It's as if they know they did something wrong to you and they're going to be trying to um, like resolve the issue and the situation. So, um, you know, it's like a, a month of forgiving where the Sagittarians realize that they have either unjustly accuse you or unjustly work against you for whatever reason. And they are going to be coming back and asking for forgiveness or they are going to be doing something for you um, that is going to be helping you okay so um, that's like a situation that is going to be happening 
for you guys okay so this is really good so whenever the energy is the Sagittarius is that they are going to be helping you and um, and giving you another outlook on life and I think that's where you're healing yourself in this full moon okay because you're releasing something that no longer serve you the fourth house again ladies and gentlemen you are definitely going to be communicating um, with family members and you're going to be like standing up and you're going to be like hey you know um, it's good I've seen everything I took time off for myself to kind of put the puzzles in the pieces together and you know this is how I see it and you're gonna communicate it you know and I see some of you telling family members you know you're all full of BS because you know um, I truly realize that family um, is you guys have only connected because I had something to give and I'm seeing you earth sign people really saying, you know, my friends or my family. I don't consider you people to be my family because you're going to be realizing. Uh, and, and this is it, it's like an alien month. So you're going to be seeing through, you know, the BS It's as if something happened that you guys are really seeing that your family is full of BS is that they always want, want, want and they're greedy. So some of you, I'm seeing some of you, and this is why you should ask for a personalized reading where I can go in in depth to tell you who, but especially you Capricorns, you're going to be telling your family to get off where it hurts. You know, you're going to be telling your family, listen, when I need to, um, someone, no one is there. So I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> and I think this is the first time that you, um, Capricorns are really going to be just speaking and, and, and just saying how you really feel about your family. Passion. In the house of passion, I'm seeing the energy of the Virgos. So some of you Virgos in passion unexpectedly is going to have a breakthrough, okay? Some of you might find out why you didn't enjoy sex, why, you know, you didn't enjoy life before, and it's as if someone, you're going to be meeting someone who is going to be pulling you and let you open up and enjoy life. Like unexpectedly, you're going to be um, awakened from like a nasty energy, like a depressive state where someone is going to be taking you, holding your hands and awaken you to the passion awaken you to life again and this is going to be good so it doesn't have to be a Virgo it can be a Virgo that is awakening you Taurus and Capricorns but um, it's coming up as if you know this person basically it's just going to be there for you okay the six house bam 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 I think it's a very very this six house the six house is all about business it's all about the creativity it's all about work and details in work and some of you are going to be finding out that your career that you're in at the moment is the right thing or if you were looking to do a career change you're going to be starting something in the spirit between the 15th of september and the 15th of october and you're going to be realizing oh my god this is what i need to be doing this is where i feel my most happiest moment this is what i need to be doing some of you are going to be very innovative and you're going to be experimenting with new things new situation and realizing Oh, um, hey, I love this. This is where I should be. This is what I was meant to do. Okay, so a lot of you are going to be changing careers. A lot of you have been thinking about changing careers. A lot of you didn't know what direction to go. And between the 15th of September and the 15th of October, you're finally, finally going to be finding out what to do. And Ladies and gentlemen, this is my my potato. It, it's it's potato, but it's Dutch. Uh, you have to know. <laughs> mm. It's with peanut sauce, onions. It's a pot potato orlock. It's like a potato war. <laughs> That's the name of it. 
or you trans translate it as um, potato war, but it's in Dutch it's potato warlock. So it has onions, it has peanut sauce, and it has mayonnaise. Heaven. The last two and a half years I've been in the States and now I'm back home and it's so wonderful. Anyway, moving forward. Mm. Seven hours. Relaxation. What is happening in the seven hours? And I'm sorry. <laughs> In the seventh house, I'm seeing you reconnecting with old friends. I really, um, these are good people. I don't see, um, like if there was a problem in the past, but um, there's one person that you need to forgive, and some of you need to forgive an Aries, okay? So, this could be a girlfriend, a friend. A family friend whoever this person is they're not you need to forgive this person Cryon is here with an Aries and you are in the house of relaxation where you are thinking and sitting down and thinking what an ass that was you know and it's an Aries how could they have done that you know and what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be thinking, you know, I'm letting this go. And I'm asking the universe for healing for this person, but I no longer want to connect with them. It could be a family member because I'm seeing it. Um, you know, like it could be a family member that is an Aries that has done you wrong but it could be a business partner it could be someone who you have crossed paths with and this person have lied and unjustly done something against you and I'm seeing this person falling on their face literally literally for some of them but some of them the it's like the um, the the rug is going to be pulled out from under them because all their shit is going to come out okay so you're letting this person go and asking for healing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the eight house. The eight house is the house of intimacy. And I'm seeing a lot of dream, night dream, day dream, day, whatever you do. But there is a lot of dreaming about someone. Either you want someone new or some Gemini has crossed your part and all you can think about is this Gemini. <laughs> Now, it can be a Gemini or it can be a Cancer for some of you. But I'm seeing a lot of daydreaming, okay? Um, it could be night dream because you men could be, you know, in in the day you're crazy over someone, but you're afraid to um, communicate with a person. But I'm seeing a lot of you could be um, intimacy. Um, there's a lot of intimate intimacy between you and a Gemini. A lot of intimacy between you and the Gemini so whatever is going on there I'm seeing a lot of daydream and in, in, the, in the house of passion it's the house of intimacy a lot of daydream a lot of um, issues situation but positive because it's the house of intimacy I'm not really seeing any problems it's just that through the 15th of September to the 15th of October there is just going to be a lot of daydreaming for you guys. So it's up to you what what you're daydreaming about in sex. I don't want to get in your head. All right. So we're looking at the ninth house. The ninth house is all about seeking. It's going to be looking at new career aspects for you guys. A lot of you are going to be looking at new career aspects. And a lot of you are going to... Um, connect with a metaphysic world and this is balancing spirituality and materialistic so you're going to be um, wondering so I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you connecting with a Pisces it could be a Pisces that you're going to be working with and this is could be metaphysic but I'm seeing a lot of leadership it's as if you are going to be the leaders of the game 
okay so as as if um, you're starting something new something is coming out new you're starting something new you are bringing changes on the planet and it's as if you guys are the leaders in career new things new situation on the work floor people are you Tauruses and Capricorns and Virgos are getting the management position because it's as if the universe is downloading the wisdom it's as if your wisdom uh, you're in a wisdom and guidance and it's as if true career changes for some of you you're like hitting the chart and like it in the chart so powerful so this is really 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 good and it's going to be powerful okay it's really good it's really powerful so it's working um, this period is basically working for you guys okay this period is really really working for you guys okay so this is going to be good then we're looking at the tent house the tent house is a house of the Capricorns now Capricorns I don't know what the shiggles is going on but if you are looking for a relationship bam go back and listen to the love reading because a lot of you someone knew a lot of love Venus is here it says it's as if Venus Venus decided you earth sign have had a lot of shitty relationship bam I'm sending in the right one bam here is the person that you should have so whatever is happening some of you are especially Capricorns are going to be meeting a Scorpio or a Scorpio is going to be showing you love whoever the Scorpio is this person is really in love with you Capricorns now for the rest of you the scorpions travel with the house of the eight house of intimacy so a lot of you guys but the tent house is the house of repetition so you got to be careful you got to be careful when a scorpion is in your house of repetition be aware and be careful of what is going on because in your house of repetition you're dealing with a scorpion but the scorpion you know there is love but you know the scorpions they can flip on you so be careful Venus so some of you Capricorns and I did say it some of you Capricorns are going to be meeting someone there is a Taurus that is going to meet a Capricorn between work or with work and you're going to be falling head over ease for this person as as if you are going to be um not only in business but in love you guys are going to be falling in love with each other you guys are going to be the best love partner ever okay because you are going to be working together whatever the issue whatever is going on it's as if you people just connect together and I should say that a good relationship with a Taurus and a Capricorn is good okay um, you can always get married because you people are hardworking. Um, it's alone. It, it's only that the sex, but whatever is coming up, you Capricorns, it's all about love. Bam! It's all about love. So in the tent house for the rest of you, Taurus and Virgos, it's about your repetition, and there is a lot of love that is going to be coming into you. Eleventh house is the house of the hedge, and the house of the hedge is bringing something to an end. With an unhealthy relationship that you have um, whoever this person is and whatever the situation is that some of you are at your last Latin or at the edge with a relationship whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring um, this relationship it could be with a Leo is going to be removed out of your life okay if it's an unhealthy relationship or is it a relationship with a Leo Saturn is coming in that means Saturn is saying to you this person this situation this learning lesson this karmatic issue is now over remove this person out of your life because whatever it is and I can't because this is a general reading it's about um because Saturn is about discipline and it's about structure okay and it's about testing and Saturn is in your 11th house that means whatever this relationship or this situation is is like you're at the end of your lifetime and I know you earth people alrighty so 
12 house of surrender you guys are surrendering you're surrendering to the source of all things your angels and your guides but the source of all things when you're surrendering surrender to the source of all things which is the son it's this God the father and what is going to be happening is that you're surrendering to the Omega of all things and Omega is going to realize that you understand that you need to surrender this situation this thing this person this place this whatever it is and then a Taurus is going to be coming in to bring you some luck bam 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 so it's as if you're surrendering something whatever it is that you're surrendering a Taurus is going to be coming in and a Taurus is going to be bringing you luck this Taurus is going to help you to move forward this is as if this Taurus um, it could be a relationship that wasn't good it could be a marriage or a relationship that was unhealthy it could be a working relationship it could be a friendship but a Taurus is going to come in and this Taurus is going to be giving you luck like you have never seen this and this is what I always say the Taurus they're always helping out the Capricorns and the Virgo okay if you want an extended full moon reading please order just um, a normal reading and just say that you want a full moon reading because there's a lot coming up for you earth signs BAM again ladies and gentlemen thank you so so much for being here um it has been so hot the last time I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen I can't take the heat okay I really can't take the heat um but this period for you guys is going to be good check out the extended readings okay and as of October you will be receiving your um, um, individual sign personalized reading for the full moon um, but you'll still get the collective as a group okay because I have to do it as a collective as a group and then I'm going to break it down in each sign so um, as of next October um, but you have to um, order them on on demand okay so you get the general and then you have to order to find out your full moon um, energy vibration for that period I love you guys namaste until next time mm -hmm.